What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I know here we are again with this format and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys some more content this week. And today we're going to be looking at the RetroFlow Launcher version 7.0.0 and there has been a lot of changes with this amazing application. And if you go into VitaDB and press select and you go under view change log by pressing X, you'll see all the changes for this app and there has been a ton of changes so they made some overhauls here and there and I was already uh, messing around in there with some of the uh, my retro game collections that I just added onto this Vita which I haven't really updated my Vita 2000 or my slim model because everything is on my fat model which the screen broke so we'll do a video on how to replace something like that later on again there's so many different uh, changes and we're just going to go through the app. I'm not going to go through every single detail, but we'll just go through the app together and see how we can add our retro game artworks to our collection. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be a fun one, and I'm glad to be back. All right, so if you haven't updated already, you can go through VitaDB and update it right there, as you can see. So now let's open up the application. Whoops. And open up RetroFlow Launcher, one of my favorite apps on the Vita, and it's super clean. <clears throat> so here we go. I just got done updating my PS Vita uh, artwork, and it looks great. I really love this app. It's just so clean. And pressing start will bring you to the settings. And here we can change our theme color. So we can go in here and press X to change the different colors. And we can change the reflection effect, custom background, press X to change. We have blur one, blur two, blur three. I'm a big fan of the Aurora. Reminds me of like my old Mac computer that I used to have. Well, I still have, but I just don't use it as much. Uh, smooth scrolling. Let's go back. And the most important setting is going to be the scan settings. So let's go back to the main. And we're going to change our categories. And you can change how uh, to view your collection by pressing circle. You can have it flat like that, much larger. That looks pretty cool too. And just up in front, flat and simple. We have a list and going back to the original, which is my favorite. I, I like this one out of all the different uh, selections. <clears throat> Pressing the square button will change your categories. We have homebrew all of our like ports, emulators, and things like that. Going back to PSP, I just added a couple. Uh, this one and I forgot what this one's called. It's like Wangan Midnight Racing. This one's a really good game. And I'll be showcasing this on a short here real soon. But you can see how smooth it is. And I did not have any artwork whatsoever. And when I did the scan, it started to download the different artwork covers for my games which is awesome and pressing triangle will take us to the details and here we can download the cover the background so here we can download the background and covers for all of our games or you can apply to a specific category so i'd like to actually see this option maybe in a different part of the application uh, here i'd like to see like the details of the game what um and some other information instead of having this option there, which is fine, no big deal. Let's change our category. And I guess it didn't grab some of the homebrews or whatever, like Arc Loader. And I, I guess I had several copies of these games in different locations. 
but we'll have to figure that out somehow and, and see what we can do to kind of clean all this up. Let's change categories. And I just added my Nintendo 64 games. And <clears throat> just did the scan on these and it looks great. I still have yet to do the background on some of these. But yeah, looks pretty clean. I'm a big fan of this. Now let's go and change categories. We have Game Boy Advance. Missing a few here. And some of them are kind of like hacks. Like this is a this is Pokemon White version. Uh, it's a hacked version of like one of these other games which is kind of interesting like flora pokemon flora sky final main version pokemon heroes pokemon jupiter and just some random games i have that i have kept in my uh psp for a while and transferred over to my ps vita i'll let's change categories and we have our game boy color we have game boy and so now what we can do is uh, let's press start and go to scan settings. Now by default, it's going to have its game directory. So here's where you'll have to change it yourself. So under edit game directories, if you have a specific folder for your Amiga ROMs, Atari 2600 or whatever, you will have to change it according to what you have set up on your SD card. So let's choose one. And let's go to uh, NES. Let's do that. So right now, the directory is defaulted to ROMs, Nintendo, Retroflow, Data, whatever, and UXO. But that's not where my games are located. So let's press X. And here we're going to choose UXO. This is where my ROMs are located or my SD card. So under ROMs. And I will choose the NES ROMs folder and here we're going to use this directory so let's select and we're going to hit rescan and it's going to rescan and it's going to collect all the games that the app is going to be able to read I know some games you will have to change the titles or maybe your titles are incorrect or don't have what the app is looking for to get those games scanned properly or get the downloaded uh, covers and artwork for those games. Let's change the category. Pressing square. And let's go down and see if we can find NES. So, oh, here it is. I just passed it. So it's a, it got nine games. I know I have a lot more than that. Or maybe I don't. But now what we're going to do is we're going to press triangle. And we're going to hit the download cover first, press X. And it's going to start scanning all of your games that don't have covers and it will try to find the cover for you. And having an app to do that is so awesome. Like I don't have to do too much work. The app will do it for you. Uh, let's see. We'll read some of these changes here as it scans. So the app will look up the game titles based on the common WHD file names. Extra settings were added for plugins, CPU speed, high memory, no DRM engine and suspend threads. All options in ABM are now available here too. And as you can see, some of the artwork did pop up for a few of my games. Let's change. Find NES. There we go. And now we have our updated covers for these games. Pretty awesome, right? But yeah, hitting the up on the D-pad will bring up category. You can go to your favorites, recently played, all collections. Let's hit uh, triangle and download backgrounds. So let's go back to start and go under other settings. And here we can change our adrenaline PS button. We can show missing covers. Let's go back to artwork. And we can download using CRC, game backgrounds. Let's turn this off. And we're going to rescan these games and see if we can get some luck. All right, so that one did it. Let's go and download the cover here, pressing X. 
And I guess it doesn't like download completely. All right, so this is working. The old uh, CRC is working. So what you can do is use the old downloader by changing the setting artwork download using CRC to off. And that way you can do it one by one. All right, well, there you guys have it. That is the amazing RetroFlow launcher and its new updates, which is very nice and fun to have on your PS Vita. It's by far one of the best homebrews you can have on your console. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I appreciate you being here with me. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.